place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. Alright guys, it looks like we have some possible leaked spoilers here for episodes 120, 121, and 122. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to where these spoilers came from. But remember, these are not 100% confirmed. These are rough translations and they could possibly be wrong. So I'm going to give you a fair warning, but from the, the, these titles, it looks like these are on point, honestly. And the last one is crazy. Alright, so... 120 perfect survival strategy the deadly assassins of universe 3 now when i think of this i think that universe 4 got eliminated right before this or they might have a lot less fighters those little bug guys that were essentially hidden up until the next episode episode 119 i think that they're going to be eliminated i think that episode 119 is going to be like an, a one-off thing we have pictures of them trying to pull vegeta off the stage and that's not going to happen, obviously. There's no way that these guys are going to take out Vegeta. That's just my opinion. And these uh, potential leaks kind of confirm that in a way. When it comes to the Assassin of Universe 3, the Universe 3 is the robot universe. And the only one that could really be the Assassin out of the characters that we've seen so far, the one we haven't seen at all really do anything, is the guy who looks kind of like a mad scientist with the scepter. Um, I think his name is Pepperoni or Pepperoni or something like that. And so I don't think this character looks much like a fighter, honestly. I could be wrong. And he's an assassin, but probably nowhere near hits level. Probably he has something to do with poisons, chemicals. I'm just going off the lab coat the way his design is. But that's going to be an interesting episode since we haven't seen much of Universe 3 uh, United. We've seen them one off getting beat up by almost every character in this tournament, but we haven't seen them kind of come together and, and go all out. Which brings me to my next one, uh, All Out War, Episode 121. The four-way fusion versus All Out Attack of Universe 7. Okay, so when I first read this, I saw four-way fusion. I'm like, okay, these are definitely fake titles because it doesn't make any sense for four people to fuse, essentially. I'm thinking Potara, but there has been something that has been hinted at Universe 3 that the robots, that the ones that attacked, um, I believe they attacked Jiren right as soon as uh, the fight between Jiren and Goku ended, those robots, uh, they, they, they can kind of fuse together. That's kind of what been, has been the community response to them, that they can fuse together and make one giant mech robot. So I think that these two episodes are going to probably be the Universe 3 episodes, and they're going to be the ones that have uh, them getting wrung out, honestly. Because right after that, it's versus all out of attack of Universe 7. So if all the characters in Universe 7 are attacking these guys, they might be strong, but uh, they're going to get wrung out. And so that's going to be more than likely, in my opinion, possibly the end of Universe 3. Now, episode 122. It's, it, it has it wrong here. He's, he meant to write 122. Risking his pride, Vegeta challenges the strongest. So we already know that Vegeta's trying to get Ultra Instinct for himself, but he can't because... Just his demeanor, the way he attacks, his style doesn't really correlate with the way Ultra Instinct works for Goku. So it does make sense for him to challenge the strongest, and obviously the strongest is Jiren, and he is awake. So this is a possibility. So Vegeta challenging Jiren, uh, it would be freaking fantastic if we had kind of uh, two or three episodes just like Goku versus Jiren, where we focus on Vegeta versus Jiren. And I think he's doing this because he knows he can't beat Jiren at his current level, but he wants to be pushed beyond his limits and maybe reach this Ultra Instinct. And as I talked to you guys a couple of videos ago, that Goku possibly has the defensive version of Ultra Instinct, while Vegeta could get the offensive version of Ultra Instinct, making these two guys the perfect Ultra Instinct warrior and combined in attack or with fusion and that possibly could take out Jiren. That was just a theory that I was that I was concocting. So this is going to be amazing if this is true. If Vegeta challenges Jiren, he knows that he's no match for him at this at his current level, but he wants to be pushed further beyond. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these possible spoilers. Drop me a like if you haven't already and subscribe. This is going to be Dragon Ball Black signing off.